Hello and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I am Miss Ernst. I'm one of two school counselors here at Pershing Hill Elementary School. And today I will be taking you on a virtual tour of our grounds and our building. Before we get started, a little bit of information about us. So our school is named after the famous World War I general, General John J. Pershing, and we are located on Fort Meade. We are, however, an Anne Arundel County Public School. So even though we're on base, we still fall under the county. With that said, 95% of our population are, is from military families. So it's military children. Um, we have been servicing families since 1955. However, the building we are in today that we're gonna see today was built and occupied in 2011. Typically, we have about 600 plus students here every year and we service grades one through five. So come with me and I will take you around. All right, here we are, the very front of Pershing Hill Elementary School. So two things I wanna talk about real quick is drop off and pick up. We have two car loops. I'm gonna talk about the left side first. So this right here is our bus drop off and pick up location site. We do have a number of students that live a little bit too far to be able to walk or bike to school, so they are bused. And this is where the buses will come through and they come through the main doors for drop off and pick up. We also, if you have a student that goes to SAC for before and after care, their bus comes directly to our school as well. And this is where they do drop off and pick up. At the sign on the right hand side is where we do our car rider loop. So you can see we have a, a nice huge parking lot. And then as you come down the road, right next to the sign, it travels around to the front of the school. Some parents prefer to park in the parking lot and walk their children into school. It is up to you what makes you the most comfortable, what you want to do. However, if you are going to walk them up to the school, we ask that you don't drop a student and have them walk the parking lot by themselves. There's a lot of traffic during pickup and drop off time. And even though we have a lot of staff out here to help, accidents do happen and we like to be safe. If you are gonna walk your students to school or park in the parking lot, bring them. We ask that you use the crosswalk, please, to bring them up to the building. Before we go to the front doors, I am going to walk us around the car loop so you get an idea of what it looks like. Typically, we can get five, six cars in here at a time to drop their students off. And it's a really quick process. We do have bike racks for our students that like to bike to school. And we also have some skateboarders as well. Typically they will take their skateboarders with them inside. So we have one set of bike racks there. And as we come around to the right side of the building, we have an entire second set of bike racks. We also have a second crosswalk up towards this end of the parking lot. So you are invited to use any parking lot or um, crosswalk that you would like if you walk your children to school or park. All doors on our school are locked. The only way to get inside them is to have a key card that all the staff members have. Other than that, all visitors have to go through the main entrance. I am gonna take you around the side of school here so you can see the playground. We have a smaller playground here that's outside our first and second grade doors. Lots of activities, paint, you know, you see four square on the ground, we get some hopscotch. We do provide students with um, balls to play with, jump ropes, different things outside. And then towards the back here where our second playground. You 
got benches for students to sit on. And then this is our larger playground. And then a gorgeous full-size basketball court. And like I said, we do provide um, basketballs for students to play with. Got a beautiful, gorgeous field. Great place for students to play. All right, I'll meet you around front of the building. All right, here we are back at the front doors where students will enter and exit the building. If you are a visitor, the doors are locked. So what you will do is stand on this blue star on the ground right here. You will press this black button on the box, look into the camera, and a secretary in our main office will ask who you are and what you need. And then you will let her know and they will buzz you in. Let's go in our main doors. Here we are in the main atrium as you enter. Normally that door is shut, so those doors are locked as well. And unless you have a key card, you will not be able to come inside. And then you have the main office. That is also a locked door that requires a key card to get, to get inside, excuse me. So if you are a visitor coming in, then once they let you in, the secretaries will meet you here and open the door for you. So this is the main office to our right. It is where the principal, assistant principal, and our conference room and three very fabulous, hardworking secretaries work. For the rest of us, we are gonna go through this main door where students will enter, where they'll be greeted by very fabulous staff, office door if they need to go to the office. Let's look down here first to our left. This is where our music and band and chorus is. We do have one full-time band teacher, one full-time music teacher, and one part-time music teacher. It is also where our janitorial staff has an office. And then you're gonna notice our school is like a U-shape. So we're gonna have four main hallways with classes in it. So we are gonna start coming down our first hallway. And here we are coming down our first hallway as you enter the building to the right on the first floor. This is our first grade hallway. To my left, I have one of two school counselor offices. We have one on the first floor, one on the second floor. We also have a testing office and an office for our PPW. Now our PPW is a pupil personnel worker. Some of you may not be familiar with that term. Um, think of a social worker that deals with attendance and residency issues. That's pretty much what she, she works on and she covers several different schools. So she does not stay here full time. She covers several different schools in our, um, the Mead cluster. Right across on the right from that is our health room. We do have a uh, nurse that's on staff full time when the students are here. So there will always be a nurse in the building. Then as we come down, we have our first grade classrooms. We have our psychologist office. So the school psychologist is part time. They are not here full time. And we also have our special education offices down here. So we have, you'll see one on this side. And once we move to the other side of the school, you'll see a second set of special education offices. We do have hand sanitizing stations, which is really nice, more first grade classrooms. And you're probably noticing you see lockers. That is correct. We have lockers. Um, due to the coronavirus pandemic, not quite sure if we're gonna be using them next year or not. But if we do get to use them, each student will be assigned their own locker. Also in the first grade 
room, or uh, excuse me, hallway is Miss Long, who is our art teacher. If you were to come to the end, you will see the doors that go out to that first playground that we showed you. And we also have a stairwell that will go up to the third grade, fourth grade floor on the second floor. However, we're gonna continue on the first floor and I will meet you back down the hallway. And here we are coming back down the hall and you're gonna notice we're gonna come right back out near the double doors where you would enter the school. But we are gonna turn to the right. We have one set of stairways, that, stairwell that goes up to the second floor. We also have an elevator that goes to the second floor. To my left is our cafeteria slash auditorium. And right next to it is our gymnasium. We do have a partition between the two if we ever have to get a little bit more space. Right across from the gymnasium is our media center. So this is our library. And then we also have a computer lab. And as we continue down the hall, we'll see another set of stairs that go to second floor, but we are gonna turn to the right. Just like I said, it's a big U. Much like first grade hallway, this is our second grade hallway. So down here we have an office for our speech therapist. We have a sensory room. We have a work room for teachers and volunteers. We have three ACC rooms in this building on this floor. You can see we have one, two ACC rooms. And then all of our second grade rooms are down this hallway. Excuse the mess if you see things laying out, which you're gonna see on the second floor. We are busy cleaning, getting things ready for the new year. This is our second special education room, all on the first floor. And just like in the first grade hallway, we have doors that go out to the playground and we have stairs that will go up to the fifth grade hall. So one big U. So one thing I wanted to mention, I completely forgot, we have five first grade classrooms and we have five second grade classrooms. All right, I'll meet you out at the end of the hallway. Here we are at the top of the stairs. To our right, we are gonna come on down to the fifth grade hallway. We have a couple exciting things before you hit the fifth grade hallway. You have the second school counseling office, which is my office. We have our learning lab office, which is conveniently right across from mine. Our learning lab is um, a wonderful, wonderful instructor who works with um, children that seem to be struggling or having real difficulties um, behaviorally in the classrooms. So she does one-on-one -on work and group work with them. Right next to that is a STEM classroom, our science lab another work volunteer room and making our way down. We have our triple E classrooms. Triple E is our enhancing elementary excellence classes and these engage students in project-based exciting student-centered learning. It is part of their cultural arts schedule. We have our third ACC classroom and then we have a, another art room and also um, a room that we use for our ESOL students so English for speakers of other languages students 
And then we come down to our fifth grade classrooms. We do have four fifth grade classrooms. And right now we are above second grade. So if you remember, we went down second grade hallway. There was a group of stairs. That is where the stairs will take you. We do have several bathrooms on this floor. So for our first and second graders, all their bathrooms are within their classrooms on the first floor. Our older children, we have bathrooms in the hallways. All right, I'm gonna meet you at the back at the end of this hallway. All right, so here's that stairwell. It originally came up and then the fifth grade hallway. And then down this hallway, we have a couple bathrooms and we have two reading rooms that belong to our reading teachers. And we also have a staff kind of like lounge up here, just a little place for the staff to come and eat. This is the second set of stairs that if you took the first set that was right next to the office doors when you first come in, that would take you right there. And then our elevator would take you right here and take us right down to third and fourth grade hallway. I'm not gonna go down this hallway right now because as you can see our janitorial staff is hard at work getting everything clean. But this is our fourth and third grade hallway. So everything past the sign that you see up there that says achieve way in the distance are our third grade classrooms. We have six third grade classrooms and everything before that is our fourth grade classrooms and we have five fourth grade classrooms. Once again, we are over the first grade hallway right now. So if you were to go down the back stairwell over there, that would lead you back down to the first grade floor. All right, folks, I'm gonna meet you back in the main hall. All right, and here we are exiting out the main doors. To get a wonderful view. Beautiful out. So thank you for watching this virtual tour of Pershing Hill Elementary School. We are so excited for you guys to start here in the fall, September 8th. If you would like to partake in an actual tour of the school, I will be doing tours on August 19th. I will have two tours. One will be at nine o'clock in the morning and one will be at one o'clock in the afternoon. That way, if you have any questions, we can get them answered for you and you can kind of get more of a feel for the building, the school and our staff. Thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you.